The damning allegations are published on social media pages of activist Michael Amushelelo. He says sources have reached out to him with information that is implicating and linking two of the deceased in the Okahanja shooting to the drug bust of Namkor board chairperson Jennifer Kumali. Kumali was arrested in March last year after police were tipped off that the executive was carrying illicit drugs in her car. According to Amushelelo's social media postings, suspended managing director of Namcor, Ims Mulunga, is the alleged mastermind behind Kumali's arrest. Amushelelo's sources allege that two of the deceased were acting on the instructions of Ims Mulunga, who communicated to them through a police officer to plant drugs in Kumali's car. Mulunga allegedly paid $400,000 to the deceased individuals, falling $300,000 short of the agreed upon $700,000 for framing Komali. NBC reached out to Mulunga and he says that the allegations by Amushelelo are nothing but slanderous and devoid of any truth. Mulunga wrote to the NBC saying the allegations are nothing but a serious case of defamation of character that will not go unchallenged. He also denied personally knowing any of the deceased mentioned by Amushelelo, urging him to take the evidence to the law enforcement agencies. It was one week after the five suspected robbers were shot and killed at Okahanja last year that the police released a statement and three weeks before the shooting, Drugs were found in Jennifer Komali's vehicle. Deputy Inspector General Elias Mutota, in the first substantive police report on the controversial killings, announced an investigation into a case of murder against the police officers who shot and killed the five men. Mutota explained the police received intelligence about a planned robbery at a farm in the Thomas region and a gambling house in Okahanja. The suspects were spotted at a gambling house near the Okahanja municipality offices where a hot pursuit ensued within the Okahanja town, said Mutota. Postmortem reports obtained by the NBC indicate that one of the suspects, Malakia Kotogeni, suffered eight gunshots in the back, while others' reports only indicate the number of gunshots suffered as multiple. No police officer was injured. At the time of the incident, police had said that a sixth suspect who was also in the car fled from the scene. To date, the police have not released any information pertaining to the suspect. On Sunday, NBC reached out to the police spokesperson, Deputy Commissioner Gona Shikwambi, regarding the allegations and the identity of the sixth suspect involved in the Okahanja shooting. Shikwambi promised to revert after consultations with the head of Criminal Investigations Directorate and the Police Conduct Investigations Head, Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.